Good morning, guys. Wait, can't see me. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Be prepared for a miracle. Like, this is a miracle. Sophie's like giggling. She can hardly control it. What do you think about the miracle? What? I, I like it because now we don't have to worry about poop. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, do. All right. Don't have to worry about poop. This is it. I thought you said he's he's gonna he's coming back for more. Or no? I don't know if he's coming back for more or he's coming back just to pile the rest up. Oh, he's gonna pile up, pile it up for us. Yeah. Way back there. As far back as he can. So yeah. That is a miracle. Like the guy actually took all of our poop for the most part. Like they're still. I don't know. There's still like a good load here. What do you guys think? Why couldn't he come before? It is gone. But it's still a big mess. What do you wonder he's using it for? He's using it for his garden. He has a garden? Yeah, what did you think he was using it for? So he's like, why would you want poop? Right? Um, for grass. Mm -hmm. To put in your grass? You can do that. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm shocked at how big of this mess is. Like we wasted a half an acre of grass. No, I'm just joking. Crack of dawn. Gabby is home. Oh, there she is. <laughs> she's hiding. She's like, oh gosh, she's coming for me with that camera. Yeah, your horse has not been groomed for a few days. Stormy chilling with hay in his mouth. So Gabby is home and she's having a lesson today with Brandon. We're having lessons with Brandon. He finally is ready for us. I'm loving the morning light in here. Storm be loving that rubbing on his back. It's withers. It's withers. It has been like a whole 24 hours since I've been like reminded that I said everything wrong. Jayla and Sophie just let me be whoever I am. Well, you say things wrong. I know. I know. I always do say things wrong. And I don't mind Gabby correcting me. As long as she's polite, which she was. I like his withers being like wrong. He likes it so much, he's just standing there with hay hanging out of his mouth. Alright, so this is all for you, Sophie. This is all for you because... I've done like vertical oxers with him. With Brandon? Yeah, and diagonals, and I'm not that good with diagonals. I hate diagonals. Brandon has really helped you come a long way with him, right? Yeah. No, Brandon is sneaky when he puts the jump higher. Yeah, he is a sneaky coach, isn't he? Yeah. I feel like that jump is higher and higher. I know. You go around with Brandon, you're like, okay, I can do that two foot jump. You go around, it's four feet. <laughs> and you're like, I think that jump is higher. And he's like, it's fine. All right, I better get out there and clean the arena because somebody pooped in it yesterday and it was not you, Stormy. It wasn't yesterday. Yeah, it wasn't yesterday. It was a couple days ago. Sometimes I say things that are just easier. when people don't have a life they come out here clean everything up for riding lessons set up an area so that your coach doesn't get sunburnt fluff the pillows we get so much into our kids riding that this is what we do we come out here and we get it all ready I'm gonna cut the grass there so Sam is gonna set up our you want me to go out there oh, our sorry. solo shot yeah I think this is the dumbest so I love the 
I think this is the dumbest purchase we ever did. Like we've had it for so long and never been able to work it yet. Um, but I love the tripod that it comes with. All right, so Brandon's gonna message me when he's ready and he leaves. I got a present for you, Gabby. You're gonna be so excited. She's like, not that excited. Yeah, I know. Put it up on your arm there. Uh, I, we have other bracelets. I don't know why he didn't bring out one for Sophie. Yeah, he's been snorting a lot. No, he, he has stall guard. Oh, see, look at Storm stall guard. All right, OG members, tell us. What's the significance of this stall guard? Do you guys remember? What's the reason why we took the stall guard down? What? What's the reason why we took the stall guard down? Yeah. So I'm going to tell you guys just in case you don't remember. Okay. So, Gabby's <laughs> like, I'll tell them. Dad, after we were done riding one night, this is when Stella was alive. So it was Stella, Storm, and Finn. So Stella, Storm, Finn, and Willow. So then Storm and Finn were in their stalls. I was getting ready because I was like taking off my shoes because I just rode Storm. And Dad said, here, you could feed Storm while I'm taking off my shoes to change them. And then he opens the door for Stella and Willow to run into their stalls. And Storm got so mad that Stella was getting her grade first that he lunged, but then hit his head on the top yeah. of the thing. Yeah, he lunged at her and he smashed his head. <laughs> hey, 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 come here. Uh-oh, uh -oh, you might be friend in here already. Hey, come here, come here, mom, come here. Come here, boys, wait, I got treats. Come here. You guys don't even aren't even ready. He's supposed to text us before. Here. Brandon's here, you're not ready. Let's go. Let's go. Faster, faster. You want cold water? Hey, hey. Molly, Molly. Oh, Ruby, Ruby, come here. Come on, come on. Oh, good girl. <laughs> he's, she's like, he's the one that gives me my shots. I'm not going to him. Shoes are in the car. Oh, you better hurry. Stop, Molly, Ruby. We're trying to teach them not to bark. It's going really well, as you can see. Can I have help? Okay, so we got water one and water, oops, and water two. Dad. All right, here comes Chino you Bambino. Want to, you want to trot over on top? If you're on the beach, Finney's on the beach. God. He's hardly even doing it. He's hardly even lifting up his legs. Storm don't have grass. <laughs> don't. One more time. Eat the grass, Storm. Why can't he have grass? I can't hold him. I will teach him bad habits when he's at shows. Don't eat grass. I can't hold him. End video. I missed a whole jump. And say thank you to Brandon. Chino. I know, he really did. We got studs for him. I think you you gonna put them in them? Not until he's ready to go. Unless put the studs on him. Oh, oh so you made your own stool kit? To a, a stud kit? Yeah, I have took a stud kit and give it steroids. <laughs> Oh, okay, so where could I buy one? Like, I really want one. You can get them at the tax stores. All right, see, look at how cool. I want one. Our farrier said don't get one because you're not going to need anything else, but. But the studs? Like, but, oh, that, does that cleaner come with it? This? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it we usually need... has a brush on the end, but I broke it off. Oh, all hmm. right. Well, I mean, we have containers like this. We might just, I don't know, I well, want. The mud gets packed in there. Yeah, well, that's why you need this. Ooh. Yeah. Usually they shove cotton in them. Do you want a stud kit, Gabby? I do too. We gotta find one. We're gonna use them. Hold on, sister. So now. proud of you, Sophie. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah, that was such a good lesson. Try it out, Chino. Two hours to put the studs in. <laughs> yeah, that's a, like they take forever. I don't see look at that. Fine. Does he look good? Yeah. What about around the corner? Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are at knives. Huh?
That's he? Fine. Okay, just be muscle though. There's also the one he is missing a stud in that shoe. All the time or just when you go around in the corner? Corner. Yeah. Change direction and see if it still happens. Words like they are at night. I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough for the day time. Yourself. Trained our puppy to be pretty good at the while we're riding. How bad is it when he goes around a corner? I mean, that one was probably the worst I've seen so far, but. Not horrendous. Lightly flat him. Yeah, people are saying we should walk him and stuff and keep his energy and his exercise level up. So he's probably worse on this rain, maybe. Yeah, but I mean, he also hasn't been doing much too, so could just be a little bit of muscle. That, that one looked better. Did it feel better that time? I love that horse. You're looking at me so cold. Get over yourself, are you for? Just 20 minutes of flower today. All right. Just trotting, trotting, building back up. Okay. You don't have the size anymore. Yeah, you got to build back up together. It's not, it's the Good boy. Let's do one more lap and then walk. Don't want to do too much. Long I'm ready for the Nothing wrong with that right there. I know it's always just been around the corners. But you know what? It's just I mean he's not been one to be ridden on grass all the time either, right? He's always been in a sand ring. Or on trail rides with boots. Look at look at our butterfly garden. You guys see them? And they're all over. They're surrounding me. Oh my gosh. I'm surrounded by butterflies, but maybe it's because I'm standing in a poop pile. You know how people mark entrances with beautiful trees? Well, we got beautiful weeds. Got a big, gigantic, G we have a big, gigantic weed. So today was a fabulous day. So he, Chino's still off just a tiny bit. And he's definitely like so, like our vet said, he's so mildly lame that it's not even worth like doing anything more to him like he did the hoof testers and he said like he's not reactive on the hoof testers at all Brandon has so much muscle that he over tightened the studs and Chino's feet and Sam can't get them out I don't know which way they go the opposite oh there we go I just cut my finger on his hoof nail are you okay? Yeah. Chino's like, what happened? I'm so sorry. He's like, let me eat it. <laughs> so this is a whole new skill that we're learning. We're learning all about you gotta studs. Go up. Like and down. There we go. We're learning all about studs. We're learning all about so many things. So we couldn't put a stud in this foot because in the other side Got because it. the hole is really Crooked. You should try and clean it, yeah. Yeah, they look like little marshmallows. We got these cotton balls. But then we need a tool to be able to pull them out. I have this thing that's like a straw cleaner. I'm gonna go bring it down. Lean into me, Chino. 
is there another tool up there, like the pick to pick it out? Nope. Oh, look, it's in. Don't want to press it in too All much. right, yeah, so she got the cotton ball in there. Did you do it in the other one too, other hole? No, because it's not open. So I'm sitting down here with Gabby. She's just finishing up with Chino. Put Chino there. Give him lots of treats. You should give him I more. All right, give, give him a carrot. Because that dude can use some food. Anyway, she's a lot fatter too. Now he's on six and four instead of six and four. Yeah, he's doing really well. She brought because him. when I walk with him, he wants the carrots, so he respects me and stops beside me. Oh, so she brought him two carrots because he respects her a lot more when she brings two carrots. Yeah, where's my other one? It. Yeah, I think we've hit the jackpot on the right amount of food for him. Okay, so what I was gonna say is that I've been reading like a bunch of the comments and stuff, and I have been thinking like I don't want to bore you all with so much talking and stuff, but so I'm only able to say like a few short things, and then lots of times I feel like I misguide you by not explaining fully. So I think I need to just break it up into little tiny bits in the videos. So what I wanted to say is that I know I tell you guys to go out there and be yourself. But what I really mean is to go out there and be yourself, but really be yourself. Like, go out there and make no excuses. Go out there and don't be shy. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Even if you're in a situation where you don't think people are going to appreciate who you are. So you got to go out there and really, really be yourself and make no excuses. Make no, do not apologize. Go out there and if you are silly, be silly. Like, just go out there and be silly. And if people are looking at you bad and people are not loving what you're doing, ignore them, move on, and keep just being yourself. Like, really, really be yourself. I don't know how to explain it anymore. Like, like... Be silly, be goofy, be loving, be kind, be assertive, be whoever you are inside. Just be it to the fullest of your being. Does that make sense? Don't hide. Don't hide any part of you. Don't hide any single side of you. Don't go out there and be half of who you are. Go out there and be all of who you are. Does that make sense? Okay. One thing that we didn't tell you guys was that today is Canada's birthday. I know that in just a couple of days in the States they have Independence Day. Today is Canada's birthday. And of course. How old does Canada turn? 152? Yeah, that's what I think. I was just gonna I'm say. I'm Emily. Emily. Wait. Hi, Emily. Hi. I can't see you. Hi, Emily. Hi, Gab. Uh, hi, Ella. Ella and Emily. Ella and Emily. So anyway, we are on our way to try and scope out some holiday celebration, you know, with the whole COVID thing. It's yeah. Happening. With the whole COVID thing, we have not been able to do anything at go places, but I think we're going to be able to wrangle up some fun and we're going to get Kaylee and bring her with us. All right. So this is our very first ever, but people are lined up. Wait a minute. How do you drive through? You car? All right. Here it is. Drive by. Drive by. Oh my Walk God. By. It's going to be down my window. <laughs> Drive by hamburger, hot dog, ice cream. How are you doing? Good. Hamburger and ice cream. What would you like? So this is the first thing that we got. This is for Canada Day, you guys. Get ready. Ice cream bars. So this is the drive-by Canada Day celebration. Molly's like, I smell it. A, a burger. Two more burgers in here. And, oh wait, Kaylee, yours is here. All right, so that was kind of fun. That was the most basic Canada Day celebration ever. Usually you go like to the park and they have free cake and they have all these rides and horse rides and and just like fun stuff. This is just like a drive-by. Here's your hamburger and here's an ice cream. But yeah, at least it's something. So Sam left the car on and all of a sudden Houston jumps into Sam's seat and we're a little bit panicked thinking like he's gonna put the car in reverse and we're all gonna go flying backwards. All of a sudden, Houston jumps on the ground and starts to lay down on the gas pedal and we all freaked out. Molly's going to drive. And Molly's like, I'm coming Molly's too, Houston. Houston. Pressing the gas pedal. <laughs> yeah, you look up, Molly's got her foot on the gas and Houston's up here driving away. So I turned the car off because we were all afraid. I said I would babysit the puppies. I took- Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Houston, Rolled her around in a mud puddle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't you know that you're beautiful? 